Happy Wednesday, crafty friends. So, y'all know yes, let's see, yesterday, yeah, yesterday it was my birthday. And this is one of the things that I got. So it's a Jane Davenport icing on the layer cake. Look at those. Mm -hmm. And so I've swatched them. And so this is how different they look on um, black paper versus, actually it goes this way. No, it does not, it goes this way. See, it's so difficult to tell, they're so different. Isn't that crazy? And this, is this, can you see that? Is this, isn't that crazy? Let's see, so I've colored these two images with them and they just add, I hope you can see that. It's like a, a warm depth, I would say. So anyway, I'm going to stamp one and color it, or stamp something and color it, and um, so y'all can see. So, you know, that's magic right there if you ask me. Oh, it's just so good. And I should probably have stamped something on black to paint, but I, I just, uh, I don't have a piece of black over here that I haven't already painted something on. Well, I, I will show you this. Okay, so I saw somebody, and I don't know who it was, I'm so sorry, but they put tape down here and here, and then they just swished back and forth, and then filled in the holes and made dots. And look at that. And they did it with regular watercolor. They didn't do it with this, but I was like, oh, I'm going to try that. Now, isn't that a beautiful, and you could make it shorter, you know, but isn't that beautiful? It's, it's like mesmerizing, you know. So, anywho, I thought that, let's see. All right, so I'm looking at this. Let's see what, um... Kind of a container. I mean, I guess I could do this one, and and we'll make it a color. Now it won't be a traditional color because, as you can see, those really aren't traditional basket colors. But that's what makes it fun, right? So I'm stamping it with Versafine Claire it's friendly with everything and then I'm gonna kind of put it over to the side mash it down good t-daw these stamps are so good this is a stamp by Judith this is the large bushel basket okay so my help if I have a brush right okay so, um, Nikki and the kids also got me these two, and they are um, layer cake, and they are opaque. They're more like gouache than watercolor, so instead of being so transparent, they're more opaque colors. So, those are going to be fun to try out, too. Um, all right, so, let's see what color basket we might want to make. How about, I'll use this for the metal band, and I think I'll use this blue, which really looks like purple here. <laughs> Alright, so, let's take that off, and get to playing. Well, this blows my mind. Look at it on the brush. Purple as purple can be. And look on the paper. Blue as blue can be. Is that not magic? Magic. And so... I'm just slopping it on. Y'all spin your stuff around while you're painting. Just 
it's fine. You can get where you need to get without making a mess that way. Or, let me say, it's easier to do it like that for me. I'll make that blue. Ugh. It's so pretty. I just wish that you could really see the... It's different than other... Um, Oh, mica um, watercolors that I've used before. It's it's um, it's sort of like it's the mica is a lot finer. Maybe okay. So I'm just going in and putting in some some shading. Along these lines, and I'll make the bottom a little darker. And I'll go in here. I don't want that line to be so, so perfectly straight. I'm just going to dab, 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 dab. This is what I should have done instead of drawing such a straight line. But, you know. Now that goes. Now I'm going to pull this down a little. Oh, I just love it. I just love it. Now I went outside there just a little bit. But we won't worry about that, will we? That's what I always tell y'all. Don't worry about it. When you get your fi your picture, your picture finished, no one will ever know. All right. Now then, I'm going to rinse it off, and I'm going to use this color, which is called ganache, which is a gray. And then this would be a metal um, piece. And then I'm going to go down these lines ever so lightly. So it gives it a little more. Shading, and then I'm going to go along that bottom edge again, and that edge. Then I'll go around this because there'll be a shadow there. Okay. And isn't that cool that you can uh, you can just use it like watercolor, but it's <laughs> y'all tend to get excited over this stuff because it's it's just like it's. It's just like you're sort of like painting with magic. It's fun. Fun, fun, fun. Nothing wrong with using your finger every now and then. I'm gonna make that look a little more. Not so perfect. Okay, now let's paint the handle and hmm, I guess the best color for the handle is this color that looks to be green and these come out of these little pots too, these little sections in the tray and then they snap right back in, very cool. This is called fondant. I say that look 
as green as green could be and now it looks like it's wood. Now let me give it a little bit of shade with this ganache. I don't know if y'all have ever bought any of these kind of Jane Davenport things. I think Spellbinders used to have Jane Davenport because I got the um, pastels that I use for faces, you know, like the cheeks of faces and things from the from them. And I got some at Tuesday morning too. But now the only place you can find this kind of stuff is on her website from Australia. Which blew my mind, because you know, usually, if you search hard enough, you can find stuff somewhere else. So, look at that. Oh, when you turn it, you can see, I don't know if y'all can. I hope you can. Oh, there you can. There you can. Look, you can see the holographic kind of look of it. Isn't that pretty? But then when you just look straight on at it, it has this this so subtle twinkle to it and then if you look at it just like that it just looks like it's watercolor but then when the light catches it boom oh i love them i love them and again that's the same color that's the same color that's the, this is the one that blows my mind the most i think although that's pretty incredible purple and blue those two are kind of, you know, similar. That's quite a bit different. You would think that this would be pinker on here than this one, you know, and white, and then that gray color. So beautiful. So I'm tickled, let me just say. I am, it is playtime in Toots' craft room because I am, I am, I am in hog heaven. So I had to share with y'all. So anyway, again, this is called Icing on the Layer Cake. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Love you guys. Blessings.